And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Well, in this 4-5-1 shape, it will be interesting to see how close the wide midfield players get to their main striker. Will they stay wide or play through the inside right and inside left positions? We'll have to wait to see how it develops. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. Ball lost by Liverpool. And threading it through. Oh, magnificent reaction. Opportunity it is. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Who can they pick out? Well, it wasn't a great header, in all fairness. And a goal kick it is. What can Chelsea do from this position? And the goal won't stand. Offside the decision. Well, that was always going to be brought back. It was a decent effort, though. Fukan Nagano. And it's a quality pass. And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, here it is again. The pass behind the defence is absolutely perfect. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. Nagano. Could be dangerous. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. Teammates and support. A smart stop here. And that is all for this game anyway. It goes into the books as a victory for Liverpool. Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. Well, no wonder our cameras are following her around. That really was an exceptional performance, I must say, to add to the growing list. Well, that was a great performance. Her understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, she scored two really good goals.